morning everyone today we are in the wonderful if not a bit windy because there is a storm hitting Plymouth and I'm so excited because I've been here on a work research trip for a couple of days now and the train leaves this afternoon and I've managed to squidge in just a few hours um, between then to go and see the National Marine Aquarium which is the UK's largest aquarium so I've got my sketching stuff I'm super excited to see all of the wonderful creatures inside so uh, I'm gonna take you along with me and we're gonna sketch and we're gonna just explore I spent the first hour at the first tank because there were English species of fish and I hadn't seen most of them for ages if at all and I, they were so cool that I just had to draw them um, so <laughs> who knows if we'll even get around this aquarium today I might just stay in this room grasses and mangroves could be a nursery, then things get big and go up to a coral reef, and then they come back to either one or, or the other, and sea grasses feed like big herbivores and stuff, and then no one watches them, so it's good. How unbelievably stunning is that tank? It's gorgeous! British species, what a great way to show people how incredibly gorgeous and awesome UK marine life is with a massive whopping enclosure full of god awesome fish.
have to admit I am really, really struggling to leave this tank. I think it's incredible and it's awesome and before I get distracted and have to rush the rest of the way around I just kind of wanted to say with, with this awesome backdrop a bit more about why I am so in love with aquariums. As a, from a website point of view it's great because I'm having ideas and it gives me access to video species to show you guys that I wouldn't necessarily have access to unless you know you're diving around the world. Very conscious when people are around me. <laughs> but um, the other reason I love it is just you get to listen to these little kids that have never seen anything like this in their entire lives and think it's the best thing on the planet, which was totally me as a kid and it's probably still me as an adult. Um, but it just gives access to people that would never see this and inspires kids so young to appreciate marine life and to think it's awesome and cool, which it is. And by proxy, I mean it's part of the reason I've become a marine biologist is that I saw these awesome creatures. If you gave me a day free and asked me what I wanted to do as a kid, it was go to an aquarium. Um, so I think they're just wonderful ways to inspire and I, I mean you can't beat the excitement of seeing a little kid see an, an amazing fish for the first time. It's, it's so great to watch and so great to see that so many people really like and, and care about these species and I think the more that you can promote a love and appreciation see the, the better we're going to get at be able to conserve it because uh, you'll be able to physically have an emotional attachment to the species that we are destroying rather than just hearing about it on the news and being like oh, I don't know what that is if you can remember the really cool time that you saw that at an aquarium then if that makes you consciously think about making more effort to conserve marine life then that is a great idea and even better if some of these little kids that are here today decide to become a marine biologist because well I know I'm biased because I am one but I just feel like the more we can get teaming up uh, to try and preserve our oceans then the better it's going to be. These little kids get excited um, and just want to see the fish, so you know, you don't have to apologize to me, I don't mind at all.
vegetation actually in the world in Puerto Rico. I can find some vegetation that I'll have it in. But they're big, big fish. They're quite chill. They're just like swimming around. I imagine they're not chill when they're feeding, but every time I've seen them, they're just being like, you know, chill about. So I had an absolutely fabulous time at the National Marine Aquarium in Plymouth. It was fantastic and awesome. It was a really good place to go, um, especially for native species, which I love that they took advantage of that. And it's also a really fantastic place to go for large tanks, sharks and all things big. And they have some really cool little bits too. I am obviously leaving uh, much more happier than the one I came in. And, uh, <laughs> I had a really, really good time. Mm.